Hey everybody, Div really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain de Fleur, the Long Geese Lanzarote. And fair warning, something very sad and tragic happens in this episode, so if you're feeling particularly sensitive, you might not want to watch this today. But it's definitely something essential to the story. So without further ado, you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Oh. Gizlon dropped the sword and was escorted by Sumabeni back to the Eastern Mansion. And I was taken back to the mansion by Asagi and Orpheus, who quickly showed up. The sword must have been left out there. I was so focused on making sure you were safe, I forgot about the sword. So, in the space of time between you leaving and us arriving, and Jay picked up the sword and disappeared. That's what it seems like. <sighs> the reason NJ released Gizlon, who was groaning from thirst, and offered him the sword. And why she is still holding the sword. That moment, I suddenly realized something. Clue us in, please. Are we still upset? Aha, that cleared things up. For now, our hands are full watching Hubert and Gieslon. Okay, we'll search for NJ. Are you guys okay with that? Yes, I think we can find her since she's a woman. She shouldn't be that far away yet. Oh, that was incredibly sexist. Who knows, NJ could be light on her feet and she could be very fleet of foot for all you know. Women aren't necessarily slow runners. The princess, is something bothering you? How can you tell? No, it's nothing. Oh, I don't think Louie's buying that. If there are no issues with anyone's roles, then please take care of yourselves. That night, I sneak out of the mansion while the twins are not paying attention. I hope they won't notice. Everyone should be searching for NJ now. But if what I'm thinking is right, NJ should be waiting for me. She went to a place that only I could find. This way. I make certain of my way and ride in the carriage which I had Marionette prepare beforehand. The sword Gizlon had. Because it had killed so many Hanabito, the power of grace has clearly been absorbed through it. NJ should be where this power is. I am the only one who is able to trace it. As I thought, she is near. I must hurry before I bump into the others. I rush to the place where I sense the presence of Grace. And... There she is, at my point of destination. How do you do, Princess? NJ. I trusted that you would surely be the one to find me. Under the moonlight, NJ's face looks even more pale and helpless. And in our hands, there is a sword that doesn't match our elegant dress. This sword is a keepsake from my husband. Yes, you've told us that before. My husband was born with such a militaristic spirit that he insisted this sword was his soul. Hubert and Lorraine back then had given in to him and permitted him to carry the sword. Nobody ever thought that sword would become a huge part of a tragedy. Well, who would have possibly imagined that? It is kept as a keepsake, but is still a dangerous weapon. I took the sword, promising it would be kept under lock and key, but... Then, why did you choose to bring the sword out now? If you released Gislan in that condition and gave him that sword, you could easily imagine what would happen. Of course, but that is what I intended to happen. What exactly do you mean by that? NJ gently smiles at my question. For grace, princess. This sword was used to kill many Hanabito at the hands of my husband. Hanabito are a different form of grace. Each time the sword kills one, grace is absorbed and accumulated inside. With the addition of the ones Gizlan killed a few days ago, it now has an abundance of grace. NJ, don't tell me. The only way to save the Eastern Knight is to use this grace to fill the void. For that purpose, I need a Gizlan to kill as many Hanabito as he could. NJ. I truly apologize for letting the blame fall on Gizlan. But I don't regret it. I just... Even if it goes against his will, it is better than losing him. 
Is that what you wanted to say? NJ quietly nods and smiles. If you had held a ceremony, things would have been different. But I knew it would be difficult to do that. Because I am a vessel of the goddess. Yes, and I am actually tired of this. My husband told me to look after the next night. But no matter how much I wished, they all became victims of the broken command and ended their lives. I just wanted it to end. That hope alone was my motive. Princess, I know you are disappointed in me. <sighs> As Rain, I cannot overlook what NJ has done. But I just feel there is something more important. If so, I think I'm the one who disappointed you. Even though I knew that there were so many victims, and Gizlan is also hurting. Seeing the slightest hope that Gizlan may be saved makes my heart skip a beat. Princess! I love Gizlan. I also want to save Gizlan, no matter what it takes. I was basically confessing my sin to her. Princess, your wish will be fulfilled. NJ. The grace in this sword may not be enough to completely fix the command. So please. Home. NJ, what are you... This will not atone for all the deaths that I have caused, but I am a Hanabito who has lived long and had power. I sacrifice the grace which dwells in my body. She whispers slowly in a sweet voice which sounds filled with happiness. She is like someone who has gone insane from a broken heart. All I can do is just stand still and listen to her final words. I choose to die for love rather than watch over the same tragedy over and over again. Can you please stay to see me off? <sighs> you have stayed with me all this while, as close as Hubert did. You have always listened to me when I was troubled and taught me manners and how to behave like a lady. I really thought of you as my family. <sighs> but, it's a different story now. We are both the same. I promise you, I won't let your life be in vain. Thank you so much. Princess, please bring an end to the sorrowful fate of the Eastern Knights. Ugh. Goodbye. MJ! Oh. That makes it seem so much sadder that one single petal. Tears well up in my eyes as a single flower petal flutters down next to the crimson sword. <sighs> I wonder if she is now at least in a better place, if she made it to where her lover is. NJ, I wish you all the happiness in the world with your love. I slowly lift the sword from where it lies on the ground. After absorbing NJ's grace, I sense much stronger power in the sword. Watch me, NJ. Now it is my turn. I walk away, grasping the sword tightly in my hand. To grasp my only love. Let us begin by fixing the Eastern Come On. Everyone is at a loss for words, listening to what I tell them in front of the water mirror. <laughs> Everybody's surprised expressions. What are you thinking? I couldn't believe that I was released from prison again, but the purpose is to fix the come on. How much more guilt do you want to heap on me? You can say whatever you like, but I must protect my knight. Violet! Calm down, Gizlon. Princess, I understand what you want to do, but isn't that a little reckless? Yeah. If we do the ceremony now, you'll be... I will not be affected by the goddess, because I have this now. And I take out the deep crimson sword, which I placed at the back of the water mirror. That sword? NJ gave it to me. I'm going to explain what happened. Then, I tell everyone how I got the sword. Including the reason why she gave Gizlan the sword. And the grace that is accumulated in it. And the ending she chose of her own free will and determination. 
NJ. Why did she... NJ. I feel like I understand her a bit. Even though I hardly get emotional, it really hurt to watch them die. Oh, I agree. But that pain was too much for NJ to bear. It's very sad. They seem to share the same pain, as they also watched the nights for generations, as NJ did. They all understand, and nobody opposes my plan. Including Leon, Louis, and Orpheus. With the exception of one... Except Gizlon, who doesn't seem to agree with what I'm going to do. I know you don't like this course of action, but I must do this. Violet. No matter how much you object, I will go through with it. I will even make it an order if I need to, so... So obey me! I am the rain! Have you all learned yet? Well, at least now that I have the sword, they seem to be a little bit more amicable, amicable to me making a move here. Maybe that will make all the difference. I hope. Though we're still playing with Grace, so there's still danger. Just the fact that we're moving it around, I think, would be a risk. That made me so sad. NJ's death was... Ugh. I mean, it was so much sadder than even Gizlon and Sumabeni's death in Leon's chapter because you were actually present for it instead of just hearing about it afterwards. Her asking you to be with her for the end, uh, it was just really sad. And then, you know, there was probably that conflict of between wanting to stop her and save her, but also wanting that hope for Gizla and your love. But then again, it was also what she wanted too, and she was just really tired of having to watch the same horrible thing happen over and over again. And apparently she's lived for quite a while, which, you know, in a lot of stories becomes a big problem for people. Immortality. You can actually get bored or jaded with life. Alright, well, to see how things work out in the next episode when we use this sword to try to restore the come on. Hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.